Now today, I'm just going to do a demo on how to paint dog boards or it's the same process for say a timber slatted wall. So what I've done is I've gone through and I've dusted all this down ready to paint. Now when it comes to painting a, a slatted wall or dog boards as such is painting the top edge. Now often a lot of people will go through with their brush and do the best they can at painting that top edge and it can be a little bit slow. So what I find one of the quickest ways to do it is using a, a paint pad. Now that's what they actually look like and they go onto wall edges um, and what I'd normally do is cut them in half then I'll use this to actually paint all the edges with. So I'll tap some paint onto there then I'll just go through and do the edge. That's one of the quickest ways of doing the edges. You may want to wipe the face just a little bit if paint happens to dribble over. So same process for the under edge. So as you can see it's quite quick using this um, paint pad compared to using a brush. Once again, let's give that a wipe. One more. So when you're doing a um, a slatted wall or dog boards in this case, um, always go through and do all the edges first, and then come back and do the face. So now that I've done all the edges, I'll have to go through and do the face. Now normally I'll get a rag and I'll just wrap that um, paint pad in a rag so it won't dry out. But hopefully I won't be too long doing this so it shouldn't go dry on me. Okay, so the top one's going to be the hardest board to do. because I've got to cut this one in. But one of the best ways is to use a little roller. Make sure you put plenty of paint on I said this top one's the hardest one. Now if you don't get a perfect line the first time, don't panic too much because the second coat will be a lot easier to uh, straighten it up. Okay, make sure you lay that off. Once again, plenty of paint. And lay it off. So on this next board will be a lot easier. Don't try to force too much paint out of the roller. Put 
plenty on there. I'm wiping the top edge and bottom edge and then making sure it's laid off properly. Then continue the next bit. So I'm just wiping that top edge and bottom edge because when you're rolling it tends to leave a little bit of paint just on the top edge. So do that again. Wipe the top edge, bottom edge, and make sure it's laid off nicely. edge, bottom edge, and lay it off. Now what I find is people tend not to use enough paint when painting uh, new timber. This is plenty on there. And there we go. Now if you're painting um, larger boards or boards that are a lot longer, what you'll need to do is paint in each individual board up until a join. So most timber would come in a six meter length. So you want to paint the board continuously for the whole six meters until you reach the join. For the next board down, you want to do the same thing. Um, in this case they're only small boards so they're quite easy to do. I have seen people on longer walls sort of do a little section and do it all the way to the ground. Um, you don't do that, you must paint to the join so that way you don't have end up with overlap marks. So that's just been a bit of a demo on how to paint um, dog boards um, or the same process would apply for a slatted timber wall.